Hi there. On this episode, we're going to be talking about Discord's photo sharing and the fact that it is not as private as you think. My name is Steve, and this is TQA Weekly. Before sharing your next photos on platforms like Discord, there are several factors you should consider before doing so. Discord itself is an online community that thrives on the communication of many people, groups, and users talking to each other individually because it serves dual function. It allows users to interact with each other in many ways, and it provides many safety tools such as content filtering, server, server member blocking, private group options, and a whole bunch of other stuff. However, when it comes to image security, there are potential concerns. While the majority of accounts and their content seem to be safe from outsiders, images shared within a chat are not safe and can be shared with other people using different computers over VPNs or anywhere else. It seems to be that the images are actually protected by obscurity and not encryption, and therefore anybody who has a link can see the content, meaning that at one point, it is possible that anything you share is gonna be public knowledge. So. That carrot cake I make every once in a while that my employees like, that's not a problem. But what about the photos that you are sharing? Is there a potential issue in what you are sharing? You might wanna consider that because anything you put on the internet is forever. So it is high time that you remember that not all platforms are safe. And it's also high time to remember that all platforms share a weakness when it comes to image security in one way or another. Discord, it's a link. Snapchat, it's a screenshot. Other platforms are other things, but you have never been able to post on the internet anything in any secure fashion that couldn't eventually leak one day. And that is why you should consider what you put on the internet. If you like this episode, like it. If you didn't, dislike it if you want to share with others go ahead and of course you can use the comments box down below to leave your comments questions and suggestions if you want to email me you can go to ask at tqaweekly.com of course you can go to the website tqaweekly.com to see the show notes on this episode past others find other ways of subscribing and of course contacting me by email there and if you want to see me play video games head over to twitch.tv slash zaxis 1981 where i stream every friday saturday and sunday 79 7 to 9 p.m eastern thank you for watching and goodbye